this video, you're going to know what it is because of the thumbnail and the description, but it might be a little long, so you might want to skip things here and there. I don't know. We'll do whatever you want. It don't matter to me. Um, but today, went to the case event over in Oceon, Indiana at Oceon Ace Hardware. J.O. had sent me a message a few weeks ago, probably a month ago, explaining that it was going to be going on, and uh, I was like, yeah, I'm all in, brother. And uh, then Byron Kennedy talked to me, and also the Radio Geek, and uh, all four of us made it over there today. Um, so I got up early this morning, about uh, 3.30, got in the shower about 4, took off, stopped and got me uh, some fuel, headed on over there. Got there right at 9 a.m. and the event was 9 to noon. And uh, guys, before I could even make it into the building, I hear, hey, is that Big J? And I look over and there's Byron Kennedy. And uh, of course he had some items for me. I had some items for him. We did a little exchange there. I went and put my stuff in the car. Come out of the car, walking again, and then, hey, Big J. And there's uh, Radio Geek. So we exchanged some items as well. So it was kind of like a uh, secret Santa or something over there today, but uh, it was a great time. And then I made it into the facility, into the hardware store, and I met up with J.O. Um, he kind of explained what was going on, how you got tickets for certain drawings and giveaways. And um, they had a little station set up. They had a poker run inside the building where you got cards, just like a normal uh, bike poker run. Um, I actually had a pretty good hand. I had three deuces, but it didn't win. Someone had three uh, tens, I think, and one. Um, they had drawings all day long. I did pick up three items. We'll discuss those. Um, but guys, like I said, this is gonna—I'm just gonna tell the story. You know, we—I get in there and uh, right away I talk, start talking to Jo Byron's in there, uh, Radio Geeks in there, and I'm, I'm just looking. I'm looking for some carbon steel knives, and of course I'm walking around and I'm seeing they got a sharpening guy set up. Um, he had his own little business there, selling the sharpener and explained how it worked and everything. And then uh, I was like, I got, I got to start looking at the knives. And it was packed. I'm not gonna lie, there was a lot of people there. Um, but I made my way into the knives. They had a discount table set up too, where uh, they had knives that uh, so I guess the store had for a while. They had them reduced. Um, but I was specifically looking for some carbon steel knives. And you know me, I love the four inch plus blades. And I did find me one. Um, and then I decided I'll get the event knife because you got an extra ticket and a card uh, for the poker run if you bought the event knife. And I thought, hell, it's worth it. You know, I'm over here. I drove all this way. Why not get the event knife? And uh, then I got the swag. I went up to the swag table. And guys, look at this. Look at the swag bag they give you. And it's got stuff in it. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff at J.O. Uh, gave items, Byron gave items, Radio Geek gave items um, for our live chat giveaways. Um, but I want to go through the bag, show you guys what you get. Like I said, I'll, I might throw some other videos in here as well, or maybe some pictures. I just don't know yet. I, I'm, I just got home. I'm still amped up from the trip. Um, but guys, let's, let's look at what all we got in our swag bag here. We'll just see what's on the outside pockets here you know i watched terry's knives and man stuff and georgia's video after they went to their case event but man uh right off the bat um actually let's pull something out of here first they had a plinko board set up I mean, you play these games and uh i want a case hat so look at that would you look at it just look at it now the reason you want a case hat is because they had some hat pins now let's uh see if we can get it to there's one of them. There's one hat pin. Here's a second hat pin. I don't know how exactly that's supposed to go. Maybe it's upside down. I don't know. Oh, no, it's America. So it should go like that probably. Um, got us a decal, of course. Got to love the decals. And guys, we got a awesome, it almost looks like a, a challenge coin. I don't know, but just look at that. Look at it, fellas. I mean, I'm still all amped up from this trip today. And again, got the case hat, got the case hat. So let's, and they also, to put your swag in, I, I got a receipt in here, it's probably from my knives, but they gave you a cup to put your swag in. 
But they had swag bags too, so we got the case cup. Look at that, would you? Put all your swag in your cup there. Now let's let's do this a little better. They had all types of uh, these uh, brochures and stuff. I didn't even get a chance to look inside this one yet. Um, like I said, you're I'm, you're so amped up and you're so busy. You're looking at knives. You're talking. It was just a great time. Um, so let's look at what else we got. Um, all these cards on how to date your knives. You know, um, these were pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I think George Adventure got some of these when he uh, when he had was at the one down there where he's at. Then the sharpening guy, um, Steamboat Super Sharpeners, it's called. And like I said, I might put that video in with this one. But if you want to check them out, there's the uh, QR code as well. I don't know if that'll work if you scan it on the uh, video or not. Oh, let's see here. Then we got a passport. Case Country Collector's Passport, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen. And then, of course, they stamp the inside of it. Um, you're supposed to put your name in it and stuff, but... Uh, Hey, we got a couple of people's names in here. Marissa Yoy and Doug Bryant. So, there's that. And uh, that's what that looks like. And in the back of it. And again, all this stuff right here was free. This was just, if you showed up. And of course, if you show up, they're going to expect that you, uh, you're going to spend some money. You know, why else go there? <laughs> right? All right. Now, uh, let's look at what we bought. Um. Towards the end of the day, Sarah, Mrs. Sarah, had uh, seen my short, and she goes, hey, in that second case, there's some knives I like, and she liked this trapper. She loved it, so, of course, so there, you're able to say, hey, let me see that. They pull it out, and you're able to look at over the fit and finish and pick one out that you think's good. The first one on both the ones I bought, I didn't like because the blade centering was off. So I immediately said, hey, I need to see a different one. And they got me a different one. But this right here, um, let's see the end tag. Jade Bone Kinfolk Jig Trapper. 6254 stainless steel. So there's the end tag on that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it comes in the old black box. But there's a look at her open. I'm just covering my face up here. It's going to try to, to uh, focus on my face. But nice knife. Beautiful knife. You know, she's seen that and she's like, hey, you got to buy that before you leave. And I did. Back springs are pretty tight, I think. You know. There's that one. Now, the event knife for Indiana is the case... Um, canoe. Now I'd rather had a 75 or a trapper, but here is the event knife. So I think it was like $86. So, and a matter of fact, they had balloons there. You could buy for $5 a pop. You bought a balloon, they popped it, and then, um, there was discounts inside of it. So whatever color straw come out of that balloon, you got a certain percentage off. And I got, I popped it and I got 10% off of my event knife or no no the knife I bought out of the case so I got in all reality I got three dollars off but there's the uh, event knife open you know it's not bad the fit and finish is decent it has a little bit of rubbing I think on the main blade where it where it hits the tang of the pin blade when you open it but I mean it's it's the event knife. There it is. Um, let's see. Now it came in a sleeve case. So, you know, you got the, this actual like jewelry case that comes out. And of course it's got the paperwork and the knife sits in there and it's banded. But let's look at the, let's look at the tag on this one. So there's the tag on that one. It is. ASI 2023 Case Event Caribbean Blue Bone Smooth Canoe 62131 SS 10 20 2023 knife. So, you know, I'm pretty pretty happy I did get the event knife. I was going in thinking I wasn't going to get the event knife, but 
I ended up getting it, and with the event knife, you get a certificate of authenticity. So you get it. It comes in a sleeve as well. So you got the COA. I'm trying to cover my face so you guys can maybe zoom in and look at that if you want. I don't know. So I thought that was pretty cool. I asked, hey, what's the sleeve you're giving me? And he goes, that's the COA for the knife. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. So it's a collector's piece. Now, you guys know what I'm after. I'm after that carbon steel. So they had a bunch of knives to choose from, but something really caught my eye. And um, I have a couple of these. And I got one that's in CV. I was able to pick up this tribal lock in CV. Now this sucker right here is a strike three down the middle. Um, the bone die is decent on it. The fit and finish is superb. The first one I looked at, the blade was to the pile side pretty bad. But I mean, if you look at this one, um, hopefully it comes in. You can see she's pretty strike three-ish right down the middle. Back springs are pretty tight. Just a beautiful, beautiful knife. I feel like we got a light spot on the jigging right here, but that don't bother me. You know, they had, I think, two of these left. So, then there's the pile side jigging. It is lighter than the front, than the show side. But this is uh, pocket-worn. It's a pocket-worn knife. And it is the Bose Pocket-Worn Gray Bone Crandall Jig Tribal Lock. TB612010LCV. Now let's look at what these cost. We got the receipt here. That knife was $74.69. I had 10% off, which really I saved $3. So I paid $71 for that knife. Then the uh, show, the uh, actual event knife was $86.99. So, and then I think Sarah's knife was $63 or $64. But guys, it was worth it. it. It was totally worth it to get up early in the morning, three and a half hour trip by myself because Sarah had to work today or she would have went with me. I tried to talk my youngest son into going, but he had to work as well. But it was worth it just to meet everybody and and uh, and do this. And then they had drawings there at the end. They had the poker run drawing, the raffle ticket drawings, just all kind. And it they, they was catered as well. So that business, that Ace Hardware, is just a staple in the community, and they had barbecue delivered and catered there. But Byron Kennedy had mentioned in an email a couple of weeks ago, he's like, hey, I got this pizza joint on the outside of town. It's really great stuff. We can eat there, and I could even get one to go to take it to my uh, wife. And he did that, and he bought us lunch. And I want to thank you, Byron, for that. That was, I man, you didn't have to do that, and it's great, and it was appreciated. We sat there and we talked for... Probably sat there at lunch for, I'd say, 90 minutes um, and just talked and had a good old time. Talked about our personal lives even, you know, not just all about knives. You know, we talked about each, we talked about ourselves. So, and uh, guys, it's like you know these guys your whole life. Now, and I watched Terry's video. He said, you know, we sat there and we talked and it's like you, you know these people. It's the same thing when I met Tom, Knife Delights. Uh, it was like... Me and him had known each other for years. Same thing when I met these guys. It's like we had known each other for so long and uh, similar experiences. And definitely into the same hobbies. Um, so it was just a great time. And uh, then after that, I noticed on my way in, probably in, uh, 40 minutes outside of where the case event was, I seen a tractor supply. So I told Jay, I was like, hey, there's a tractor supply there in Wabash, Indiana. He goes, well, let's stop there on our way out. And uh, I followed him. We stopped at that tractor supply and we got some rope or sod busters for, uh, I think, $14.99, 16 something with tax. And then we went to another, uh, like, uh, I forget what it was called. It was uh, similar to like a Roll King, but they, uh, they didn't have anything. It was our speed. They had some buck knives and things like that, but we had already spent quite a bit of money at the case event and you know I already had uh, two knives for myself and one for Sarah so you know I thought I'd just get the roper and, and call it a day and and uh, we came out of that second uh, store and said our goodbyes and uh, I drove back home you know um, 
course, I talked to Kevin uh, and Pete probably the entire way back home. Um, you know, just telling them about the event. Um, you know, and I was talking to Kevin. Kevin's going to be putting up a video. He's got a lot of blades. He's going to be unloading so he can get some newer inventory. Some more uh, traditional pieces. So, guys, look for his video on that. But guys, it was a great time. It, it was just superb. And like I said, I might cut stuff in here. And as a matter of fact, I might cut in the video of the sharpening guy at the end of this. So if you want to stick around and watch that, he has a sharpening system. Again, it's called, uh, so it's called Steamboat Super Sharpeners. So it's kind of the, the V-Rod style sharpeners. Um, him and his wife bought the company, I think, two and a half years ago, so they're kind of fresh at it still, and uh, they actually sell those sharpeners there at that Ace Hardware, and he was demonstrating it and stuff and showing you how to how to use it and whatnot. Uh, but we talked to him for a good while, and then uh, J.O., <laughs> I'm just going to ramble here, but uh, J.O., actually, we, did a, we set up a video outside, and me, him, and Byron did a freeway pocket dump, and then... Uh, we did the exit part of the video with uh, case representatives and the store representatives. And then he also did like a small little video of the case, um, all the case guy and the store owner talking about the event there at the end. So he's going to have a great video as well coming out about this event. Uh, guys, if you got a chance to go to one of these, I highly recommend it. I've never been to one before. Um, didn't even know about these really until uh, Georgia Adventure was talking about it in the video. Then, of course, him and Terry put out that videos, the videos that they put out. And uh, with it being three and a half hours away, that's nothing for me to hop in a car and go three and a half hours. I mean, when I go back home to West Virginia, I'm in a car for seven and a half hours. So I'm just used to driving long distances. But, but yeah, guys, stick around. Uh, like I said, I might even throw in the short in this video or maybe some pictures. Because I don't know. If you're bored, I don't know. Fast forward, skip. I don't care what you do. But I'm just excited I can put this video up. All right, guys. Hey, while you're out there, stay sharp and stay strong. Hey guys, we're over here at uh, Ossian Hardware. We do it best with uh, Evans putting on an event with Case Knives. So kind of go over and do a demo with what we have for our sharpener. I'm Jess Goodman. This is Reese, my wife. Uh, Steamboat Super Sharpeners. We're out of Northeast Indiana. Kind of give you a demo of what we got on our sharpener. This model here is the heirloom. So we got half inch rods. So this is what we call our coarse and this is what we call our fine. I got three degrees difference from side to side because I'm thinning over here on my courses. Then I'm opening it back up on my fines, but once I'm set, just stay on your fines. So to start off, just go down our courses. And all we're gonna do, it's a down and to you motion. And you can see the material, you can feel it, you can hear it. And all it is is straight up and down, mimic your pressures from side to side. Once I get that burr standing up, I'm gonna come over to my fines and just give it a slight roll. And again, just straight up and down. And we can reduce pressure at the end. And when these rods get full, Reese, what are we gonna do? Um, these rods never wear out. You can use a scouring stick, my personal favorite on getting the rods uh, cleaned up almost instantly. Also, uh, Ajax, Comet, Barkeeper's Friend, any of those will do a great job. Just add a couple drops of water to make it like a paste and they'll clean right up with a scrub brush. So we do offer a strop line too, and we use Zams, all American made compound on our strops. And uh, all Steamboat products are American made. We've been around 50 years. We've owned the business for two and a half, but grew up sharpening on it and trying to keep a small American made business going. And once we're stropped, keep that edge, maintain, just a simple system, guys. Jess, what's the best way for people to get a hold of you and your products? So uh, we got a website and that's steamboatsupersharpeners.com. We also are on social media. Facebook and Instagram you can find us that way and when you call us you're gonna get mom and pop but most of the time you're gonna get mom so appreciate it guys uh, try to support small business and glad to be here supporting a local hardware store thank you we appreciate it